Hey guys, welcome back to Clockwise Crypto. Hope you guys are moving forward in everything that you do. Diving right into it here, taking a look at Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap, we have the Fear and Greed Index with uh, being 75 in greed, pulling back a little bit, but a lot of concern. I would call it. I'm gonna call it concern. A lot of concern within the crypto space surrounding this range that Bitcoin is staying in. If we look at the seven days, a lot of red. So that correlates to why the fear and greed index is pulling back a little bit. So uh, taking a look at the charts here, we do see uh, a bullish flag pattern forming on Bitcoin. Now this is the daily time frame. If you go to weekly time frame, you're not really gonna see it, but the daily time frame is is where you can see this flag pattern pretty clearly uh we'll zoom in so you can see it and a lot of people are concerned with uh with the range that bitcoin is is staying within right and so if you take a look here at the flag patterns and really the traditionally this is not guaranteed of course but traditionally we can see here this is considered a bullish pennant uh this one right here on the left side you can see this is a bullish pennant. It it correlates just with what we're seeing here. Um, and uh, ultimately, the likelihood of making a new high out of this bullish pennant is very, very high. So it's not about exacts, right? I know a lot of people try to pinpoint exacts. It's going to go right here. For us here at Clockwise Crypto, we just look for high probability setups. I'm not looking to be right 100% of the time. I know I'm not going to be right 100% of the time. But... Um, I do want to go off off of prob probability. So this is why we look at divergence. This is why we look at um, tr traditional technical analysis to give us the highest probability so we know when to stop accumulating, where to accumulate, and ultimately when to exit. A lot of people don't talk about this. When to exit. Okay. I know people that got in Cardano at three cents, rolled it up to three dollars, and instead of taking profit, they held waiting for it to go to five dollars when you're already up at least over a hundred thousand dollars okay based on how much you bought of course but let's just say over a hundred thousand dollars waited for to go from three to five instead of just taking some off the table because if it does pull back from which it did you're still good you still cashed out so we're looking for high probability setups and uh this uh pennant right here um, we can zoom in as much as possible, but this one right here is really what's correlating to what Bitcoin is doing right here. Okay. The only thing we're waiting for is a breakout. Okay. Now it's all contingent upon the breakout and making a new high. If it does break below, breaks out of the bullish pennant and makes a new low breaking this white level that we have here sitting at 62,700. If it breaks this, then we have somewhere um somewhere else to you know to look at when it comes to targets okay like i said it's nothing's guaranteed but we do like to go off of high probability setups based off of what the market is showing us okay so that's what i see with bitcoin and i think as you know everything else will follow everything else is going to follow the success or failure of bitcoin so very excited to see how this plays out a new all-time high would be great to see um but a lot of indecision right now across the markets i mean a lot of decisions we see a lot of a lot of massive massive uh buying pressure when it comes to bitcoin uh just because of the etfs right so we see that we see that happening we see other countries joining forces buying large amounts of bitcoin as well and with that uh we know that you know that's that's the buying pressure that we're experiencing right now so we haven't necessarily seen a ton of buying pressure when it comes from the retail side yet all the all the news all the fundamentals have been solely from the uh the institutions which is a good thing it's something we haven't seen before and something that i'm really excited to uh be a part of really excited to witness history as um we have not seen anything like this before we haven't had a bit bitcoin etf approval we haven't seen banks really show that bitcoin is a sound investment long term so very excited about that guys just wanted to 
connect with you guys and give you this market update. A ton of excitement for this week. And I look forward to sharing that with you. And I hope you got some value out of this video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do. We'll see you soon.